There was a lot of weed about uh, from the big storms last week along the Perth beaches. So I went to one of my spots which is usually pretty protected. It means you've got to walk out on the reef though, so you need a good pair of shoes. Great on the low tide, because um, you can walk out and fish a drop off. If you can get out and fish the drop off like this, using soft plastics is pretty good too, because you don't have to cast as far. Just be careful, it doesn't take much water to knock you on your ass when you're not paying attention. I was too busy trying not to get snagged, I didn't even see the wave. A few cuts on the knees to belly up the water. After throwing out some bigger lures with no luck, I switched to one of my uh, go-tos. It's a Halco Outcast. These have got a really small profile, but they're quite heavy and you can cast them a mile. So you can catch anything from herring, skippy, uh, lots of tailor, um, and snook. I actually caught a heap of snook using this lure when I was traveling across South Australia. Um, and uh, lucky enough to sort one out today. From the Facebook page, it seems like there's quite a lot of snook around at the moment. Good fun and uh, underrated. Because of all the structure around, I've got the drag set quite tight. Snook don't tend to pull a lot of line anyway. Snook make great bait, but they're also not too bad on the chew. You just got to make sure that you skin them very well and that you cut off any of the excess red meat. There's not a heap of flavour in snook, so they're great for dishes like curries or fish stew, or if you are going to do like I'm going to do next, which is crumb it, put in a lot more spice or flavouring than you would do for something like whiting or a cold trout where the actual fish is the highlight. This snook was 58 centimetres, so I was able to get a few decent uh, fillets off it. I'm going to make some fish nuggets or fish bites, really quick and easy to do. And I'll just double the amount of herb and spice I usually would use. I've put in a generous amount of white pepper, garlic powder and salt. Whisk up an egg. I've diced up a heap of dill and uh, rolled that around with some panko crumbs. Don't hold back on the dill. So, as usual, flour fish, dip in egg, roll in the crumb, add to the pan. About a minute or so either side, or when it starts getting brown. Put on a paper towel to take away some of the oil, and cook in batches. For the dipping sauce, I've got a couple of spoons of mayo, and I've uh, finely diced up a, about half a pickle, and I've poured in about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of the pickle juice from the jar. I've also added a squeeze of lemon. Add another squeeze of lemon over the uh, uh, fish bites and you're good to go. For more Perth and WA land-based fishing, please subscribe. Happy to answer any questions in the comments as well.